Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It is so good to be back out on a motorcycle. Uh, before I get started and what I kind of want to talk about today, which is the last couple of videos that I've put up on the channel, um, I just, I really want to say thank you to you guys uh, for checking out those videos, especially the last one where I talked about being banned from the Harley Davidson dealership. I mean, so reading, I'm trying to read as many of the comments as I possibly can and, and respond to as many as I can. And what it really looks like and feels like is everybody's in the same boat as me. I, I, I think we're all sick and tired of being taken advantage of and whatever, you know, posturing that Harley Davidson is trying to do now with the different uh, pricing structure and model with the CEO saying that he prefers more of a Porsche Porsche retail where look you know if you can they want to be a premium product and if you can afford it that's great if not then there's a used market for you and look I, I don't agree with that for my own sake because that to me is just not what the heritage of Harley-Davidson has been all about we can argue back and forth in the comment section of whether or not we think or believe that Harley Davidson is a luxury product. I think that a lot of people have that viewpoint and opinion because of the price that they're now putting on these bikes. And look, to me, luxury has nothing to do with how much something costs. Luxury to me is, you know, something that's extra, something that, you, you know, you don't you don't need it's it's more of a want it's not something that you have to have so I mean there could be an argument to be made that look any of these motorcycles are a luxury I don't think it has just to do with the cost and the price of the bike that automatically makes something a luxury item so if you you know if you kind of look at it in in that realm of thinking like I said all these bikes are luxury items but when you've got a manufacturer like Harley Davidson who has a 120 year history in the past being you know America's motorcycle to now want to switch up and go no nah, you know we're not gonna be a luxury item that's gonna come with a luxury price tag but we're not gonna change uh, the way that we make the motorcycles we're not gonna really bring out anything new very often they're not going to be more reliable. I mean, even from a, a car standpoint, when you think luxury automobiles, typically and generally speaking, the luxury automobiles are made better. BMWs, Mercedes, Audi, they are made better than most American-made cars or whatever you want to call it. Now, I know that's not a popular thing to say, but truth of it is I mean that that's just the way that it is but if you're Harley Davidson in my opinion you can't all of a sudden wake up one day and decide that you're not going to be a luxury product but you're not going to provide the value that comes along with that luxury price tag and that luxury description that you self-imposed so I've been trying to read through all the comments and see everything you guys are saying it seems like many of you have had the ex same exact experience uh, that I had, which I don't think is a good thing. And, you know, something else I wanted to address that a lot of people were talking about, and this is, look, to me, if you're out on two wheels, you're a part of the community, you're a part of the brotherhood. I don't care if you ride a Harley Davidson, I don't care if you ride an Indian, I don't care if you ride a Suzuki, a Kawasaki, a Ducati, I don't care you're a brother or a sister to me because you're on two wheels and I think for a long time there's been a huge stigma between the different classes and types of motorcycle you know that you either got to be in the sport bike community you've got to be in the bagger community in the Harley community in the dirt bike community and look I don't know why we need all the lines and the distinctions and the walls between us we got enough of that in real life as it is I just want to get out on my motorcycles. I want to ride. I want to be with friends. And I want to have a good time. I, I, I don't care 
what motorcycle I'm riding, what motorcycle you're riding. It's just about getting out and having some fun. And I think that's one of the big problems that a lot of people are frustrated with and having with Harley Davidson is, you know, now making the price of entry to be able to just get out and enjoy yourself and have a good time is absolutely ridiculous. And and it's frustrating because I know a lot of people want to ride, but a lot of people said in the comments too, look, you don't have to buy a Harley Davidson. You don't have to buy a Harley Davidson to be a biker or to be a part of the community. Go with what you can afford. Go with the dealer that treats you right. It's not trying to bend you over and screw you at every turn, whether it's when you buy the motorcycle or when you need to service the motorcycle or merchandise or aftermarket parts. I mean, look, get the bike, buy the bike that's going to bring you the most fulfillment and the most enjoyment. That's all that really matters. I know that it's all that matters to me. Am I disappointed in what Harley Davidson is doing? Absolutely. Am I disappointed with what dealerships, what seems to be on local levels all throughout the country? Yeah, it's frustrating. And quite honestly, it pisses me off. And like a lot of you in the comments, it is turning me off of the brand of Harley Davidson that I've known and that I've loved for years. You know, I'm, I'm over 50 years old. I, I've been riding Harley Davidson's a long time. And it has me looking at other options. Like this Ducati, this V4S. This is the third Ducati that I've owned and I, I love Ducati just as much as I love Harley Davidson. You know, different motorcycles, different purposes, different riding types. Again, to me, it's just about being, you know, a member of the community and getting out and enjoying being on two wheels wherever you are. Spending time with friends and fellowship that to me is what it's all about and if you can't walk into a dealership Harley Davidson or any other and you can't buy a motorcycle without regretting it 15 minutes after you left or already starting to feel like you've made the wrong decision when you're back in the finance department and you haven't even dr driven off the lot yet that should tell you something it should be a fun process it should be enjoyable and it should be adding something to your life if it's not doing that, then it's not worth having. It's not worth being able to say you ride a Harley Davidson. It's not worth being able to say you ride any specific manufacturer. So those are kind of my takeaways from the last video. Again, guys, thank you so much for, for blowing that video up the way that you did. I'm glad that the message is getting out there. I'm glad even down in the comments section, you guys are, we're all having a conversation about the things that we're finding at different dealerships throughout the country. And, and what that means to us. And I think that's important. If we are a community, then we can act like a community. Certainly there are gonna be things that we agree on, a lot of things that we disagree on, but it, it all comes down to our individual experience and what we find at the dealerships that we go to. I also really like the fact that a lot of you are putting a lot of the positive experiences that you've been having at different dealerships down in the comment section. So let's keep that going as well back on that video if you if you run into a great situation where you were treated right and fairly with the dealer let's let that be known we, we don't want to just spread negative content and negative news or bad news lord knows negative news and information spread so much faster than the positive but i really do want to focus on the positive so if you guys have a great experience with the dealer out there be sure to tag them in the comments of the last video. Let's let everybody know, you know, it's not just a, a, a ton of the bad dealers out there, but there's some good ones out there and they earn our business, that we, they deserve our business. And let's give it to them. So for those of you that follow me on Instagram, today is kind of a special day for me. It is my birthday. I don't want to discuss the number. <laughs> Uh, but it's also my uh, 24th wedding anniversary, so yeah, I got married on my birthday. Some could say that was a good thing, some could say it was a bad thing. I struggle to make sure my wife uh, is uh, enjoying our anniversary. She struggles to make sure our anniversary doesn't overshadow my birthday. Kind of a fun thing, but uh, 
one of the main reasons I just wanted to take out the V4S today. Just have some fun, man. Life is short. And I'm so blessed with the family and friends that I have. I walked out in the garage today and I'm like, I had to go somewhere. But you know what? I'm taking the V4S. Also looking forward to, I'm not sure, I, I actually may up, upload while we're gone, but uh, leaving tomorrow on about a week, week and a half vacation, uh, we're, me and the family are taking a trip. We're gonna go up to Washington State and uh, look around up in that area. I said a couple of videos ago that, you know, we have and are considering, you know, leaving Southern California for a multitude of reasons that I listed in that video. Uh, Washington State is one of the main places that we've been thinking about that we want to look at. I was up there a couple months ago and loved it. So I'm going to take the wife and the girls back up there and take a look at the area. So I'm really looking forward to getting away a little bit. Not sure what that's going to do to my upload schedule. Uh, I mean, who knows, maybe post some uh, vlog type content or something like that. Take you guys on the trip with this as well. And then again, there's also the the, the, the uh, chance that I might not do anything or upload anything at all. So we'll see. Looking forward to kind of celebrating the birthday and the anniversary, getting out of town a little bit. I don't know about you, but it's like when I'm when I'm out of town, I my head always gets a little bit clearer. I can think a little bit better and kind of looking forward to that. Got some really big decisions to make and getting out of your normal element seems to always be a good process to help kick that off and get your brain firing again. So, and we're actually going to drive. I just bought a new Toyota Tacoma. So we're all going to load up in the Tacoma and drive up to Washington and uh, see some of the sites along the way. I've never been to Northern California like uh, driving wise, I mean, I've, I've flown like into San Francisco, but never driven through there. So we're gonna drive so we can really take an opportunity to, you know, in, enjoy the surroundings and the scenery and everything else. Looking forward to driving through Big Sur and going over the bridge, going over the Golden Gate Bridge, seeing a lot of things we haven't seen before and right along the coast, Northern California through Oregon and up into Washington State. So going to be a lot of fun. It's a beautiful day in Orange County, California. I can tell you that. The weather is starting to warm up just a little bit more, which is a good thing. Although we've been here a couple of years, I don't really remember the, the weather getting this cold last year or year before. Another little change I've made recently, you may notice a little bit of a difference in the footage. I've actually gone back to uh, using the GoPro instead of the DJI Osmo Action 3. The issue with the focusing on that camera really bothered me. Uh, you don't notice it so much like moto vlogging like this when you get a wide field of view, but man, if you, if you pull it off and use it for anything else, like, you know, with your face at the camera, it just does not look that great. And I've done all the updates, I've done everything. And from what I understand, that's a problem with some of the first ones that came off the assembly line. So I thought, you know what, we'll just go back to the trusty GoPro and not have that issue. Man, such an awesome, beautiful day today. It's starting to warm up a little bit. On my way back, I'm not going to need this jacket, but there's nowhere to put it, so. And since it is such a nice day, we'll probably take, uh, go ahead and take the PCH home, because there are going to be some really pretty views in Crystal Cove and Laguna Beach today.
All right, guys, I'm going to kind of wrap up the video. We're getting close to the house, back down to uh, South Orange County. Uh, no real purpose to the video today other than just kind of getting out and riding the V4S. I knew I had to get out. I haven't ridden it, in a, ridden it in a couple weeks, two or three weeks. Always so fun to get out and ride this thing. Um, before we get out of here, again, I want to just say thank you guys uh, for engaging and taking part in the last couple of videos that we were talking about Harley Davidson I want to continue that conversation I've got more to share and I I, I certainly want to uh, to be able to share more of uh, y'all's comments I mean I don't know how many people actually you know go through and, and read a lot of the comments but so many of you guys were saying so many there's really smart things and and different ways for people to purchase motorcycles and the experiences that you had and I think that's important and uh, so be looking soon we're gonna follow back up on that topic like I said I'm gonna be out of town for about a week and a half just enjoying some time with the family and uh, we'll jump back on that topic for sure uh, and maybe one of the things I'd like to do out of this whole experience is you know find out the good dealers and maybe make some trips and go visit them and talk to them so you guys can get to know the mindset of these dealers that are not putting all the markup on their bikes and are treating customers right and promoting the lifestyle and and all around just being great dealers and treating their customers right i think we should highlight those folks and, and i think we should bring them to the forefront so if you're out there looking for a motorcycle a harley davidson you know, you know what dealership uh, to go to. You know which one you can walk into and you're going to be treated like a human being instead of uh, just another number. So I think that's that's something important that I would really like to explore doing. Uh, and so maybe we'll start looking at doing, uh, doing some of that as well. Uh, also, we've got some amazing content coming with Ride Motos that Josh and I uh, have launched. I highly encourage you to go over, visit ridemotos.com. Follow us on Instagram at ridemotosofficial. Uh, and uh, stay tuned for some really cool content. And I think the stuff that we've been going through with Harley, uh, it's gonna be some really good content over there as well. Uh, so make sure you go and, and follow along on that journey. We're about to launch the, uh, the first video over on that channel. And uh, go check it out. Uh, it's Ride Motos Official on YouTube as well. Links in the description down below. Uh, anyway, as I say that though, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, always leave a comment, hit the thumbs up button, let me know you like the video and I love hearing from you guys. Uh, and then make sure you click the bell uh, so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video, which hopefully is going to be a lot more regularly and kind of on a schedule coming up as I start really taking it a lot more serious the way that I used to. because. I miss making the content and I, and I miss communicating and, and uh, hanging out with you guys and hearing what's going on in your world and I miss all that. So I want to get back to it, you know, as soon as possible. So again, guys, thanks for being here for the video. Uh, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at the Steve Freeman. See a little bit of behind the scenes what goes on between when I post videos on YouTube. And maybe I can see you over there as well. Until then, guys, peace, ride safe. I'll see you in the next video.